Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to format your paperback for Amazon Kindle Publishing. This is as a result of several requests from people that have asked me to do a video on this. And that's why I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how to properly format your paperback for Amazon KDP. So before we get started, I hope you know who I am. My name is Mary Joy. I'm an online entrepreneur and I'm also a content creator. If this is your first time of stopping by on my channel, you are absolutely welcome. Thank you for watching the video today. And if you're a returning subscriber on this channel, wow, you are the best. You are the real MVP. Continue to watch my videos, support me. I'm so happy that you actually do come back to watch my videos. It actually means a lot to me. So. Without further ado, we're going to be jumping right into the video today. But don't forget, if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also share with people that will find it valuable. And don't forget, your comments are really, really inspiring. And I would love to get those comments because it was out of a comment I found this topic idea to speak to, to teach you guys today. So please always leave a comment for me in the comment section. So let's get started right away. So yeah, we're going to start this um, particular training today. And so this is the page of my document that I'm going to be formatting, that I'm going to be working on. So first thing you should understand is that for Amazon KDP, there is actually a type of um, specification for the um, size of your book. Rather, either you're using 8.5 by 11 inches or you're using six by nine or whatever measurement you're using. So in order to be able to set the page of your book, you actually, you will come to um, layout and when you click on layout, you're going to come to size. Click on size and um, just come to the bottom part where it says more paper sizes. When you click on it, it will give you the option to put in whatever um, size that you are going to be working with. In my case, I'm working with 8.5 by 11. But if in your case, you're working with probably um, six by nine, you can just change this list to six and um, change this list to nine. And what you do is you come here and says, the old document. Once you say old document, you click on OK. But because I am actually not using six by nine, I want to use um eight point five by eleven. So I'm just going to say eight point five um and um by eleven. She gets, and I'm going to come here and say apply to the old document. I'm going to click on OK. So as it is now, my document is in the size of eight point five by eleven inches. One other thing that you should also note is that because we are going to be publishing a paperback you have to publish it in such a way like you are actually reading the book. Publish and uh, you have to format it like just like as if you are reading the book. It's like the way a hard copy would be, two pages. So we're going to um, make the view of this document in two pages so we can easily format it. So you're going to come to view. Then from this view, you see where it says one page, you click on multiple pages. So when you, when you click on multiple pages, you actually bring it out like in three. But because our book is not going to be in three um, pages, it's going to be in two pages, like you open left and right. So you come over to this place and you actually zoom in. Exactly. Can you see, after we zoom in, that actually brought two pages for us. And that is what we are going to be working with today. So if you notice in Amazon KDP for the book, there are three important things that you need to also understand is that the first page is always like your book title. The second page is like the copyright page. The third page is like the table of content. So I have my one page here, I have the second page, and I also have um, the third page where it is the table of content. But because I already created these pages, so that's why I'm not doing it again. But if your document, like you wrote your book from in introduction, so now you want to add the section for the, um, for the title and um, table of content and all of that. All you need to do is that don't come and start clicking on enter. You get like you start clicking enter, 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 enter just to get a new page. No, please don't do that. What you should do is bring your cursor to this edge of that page that you're working with. Then come to this section that says insert. Then you insert a page break. Once you click on page break, it is going to automatically come to another page, giving you a fresh new page here. Yeah. So please take note of that. Don't click on enter by clicking enter, 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 just to form a new page. Rather use page break. This would help you when you're formatting to keep your, your book in an orderly manner. Please and please take note of this. It is very, very important. So that being said, because we don't need this new page, I'm just going to undo. Now, before we go on, we have to like arrange our text. Um, to ensure that it is clean. The document is very, very okay and clear. So we're going to actually justify this document right now. You justify by, you copy all the words, control A, 
once you copy, you come over to this place. This is called justify. Justify means like to distribute your text evenly between the margins you get. So justify, justify text gives your documents clean, crisp edges, so it looks more polished. That is what um, Microsoft Word is saying. So right now we are going to just click on justify and the text has actually been justified. This will help your text look um, good, attractive and readable. People will want to read it. So also I would like to change the font of this book because I really don't like some of the, the fonts and all of that. So I'm going to like change the font of the, I can just say control A again, click on control A, then just come to this side, look for the font that you like to use. Um, I like to use, um, let me use this Roboto, depending on whichever font you want to use. And I'm also going to be changing, um, I'm also going to be changing the size of the text to, let's say, um, it shouldn't be also, it shouldn't be too big, that will make sense again. So let me change it to, let's say, 18 to get. So let's see how it's going to look like. So this is how the document actually looks like. Mm, I think I prefer this actually. I prefer this, it looks bold and readable. Yeah, so I like this. So we're going to work with that. So after doing this, um, the whole um, changing of fonts and all of that and justifying your, your document. Now, this section, like I said, is your book title. This page is your book title. And what is my book title in this case? Um, I think it's how to, you can depend on your title though, how to grow self-confidence. Do you understand? That's the um, title of my book. You also like put a subtitle, subtitle. Let's say your subtitle could be um, a clear, a clear um, and precise way to grow your self confidence i'm just writing this actually i don't think if i was to publish this book i don't think this is what i'm going to use but i'm just writing this just for an explanation so ensure that you edit this um title let it look attractive you can you don't want to sell a book that um people will not be interested in buying so you can also arrange this font to ensure that everything is well aligned um so this is how i want i want to let, let me see this video is not really about the aesthetics and all of the aesthetics, but I'm still going to show you. Um, let's just quickly design something, uh, make it look um, good. Uh, let's see. So just design something and make it look really attractive. Then your subtitle, then the author's name. That's the name of the person that is um, writing the book. Just put any name. Let's say Jory Bush, just for the sake of this. Um, so ensure you edit this part. Edit it and make it look really, really good. Something that people will be interested in. So when you're done with that, you're done with the book title page, you're going to come over to this next page. And this next page, like I said, is basically like a copyright page. Do you understand? It's a copyright Page. There's really no much issue. Just your copyright text. So this is your copyright um, page. So the next thing you want to do is um, to come to the next page. So we're going to be going to the next page right now. And the next page has to do with like the table of contents. Don't worry, we'll get back to this one shortly. So Moving forward, now, in to ensure that our book actually looks really good, every every um, text rhymes and um, every font is, we are not using irregular um, irregular fonts and everything is actually okay. So we'll be making use of um, headings and all of that. So, and when we use our headings correctly and properly, it will help us when we are trying to create our table of content. So always take note of that, it's very important. So now for the introductory part, we are going to be using um, adding two. This is adding two. So we're going to use adding two for the introduction, introduction, introductory part. You can also um, um, modify adding two. You right click on it and you see modify. So when you click on modify, you can actually modify it anyhow you want it. So we're going to justify the text. We're going to come all the way to this space. Um, we have to choose um, a font. Let's just choose. You can choose any fonts that you want. So I'm just going to choose Arial. 
I'm going to increase the size to 24. Then I'm going to say, okay. Do you understand? So the moment I do that, this thing is actually going to change. So let me um, um, increase the size more. I think I have to make it like maybe 44. Yeah, let's see. Exactly. Can you see that? So this is the introductory part. So this heading one, we're going to be applying it to, to all the chapters. Every chapter, we are going to be using heading one for every chapter. Then in a situation whereby you have other sub headings, let's say for the for the introductory now, you have um, um, like this one, how to get um, self-confidence, blah, blah, blah. You can decide to make this one a sub heading. If you want to make it a sub heading, all you need to do is just come here. I like it. Then you can come here and make it, um, let's say, heading four. Do you understand? You can see it's very small. You can also decide to edit um, heading four, modify it and say, okay, I don't want it to be in italics anymore. I want to increase the font to 20. And um, I just want to increase this. I want to make the, the, the text in area. And you just click on okay. You can see that it has actually changed. Do you understand? That is how to, to actually set your, your sub headings. So let's say, for example, in the in the course of the text, in course of the um the writing, let's say you have, let's go to chapter one now. Let's say this is chapter one. You have chapter one. If you want to edit chapter one, you're going to um highlight the text, come over to this section and click on adding two. Can you see that it has actually um um it has actually set our chapter based off how we did the introductory part? Do you understand? So this is going to be your title for the first one. This is going to be your title for chapter one. Um, are you seeing that? This is going to be your title for chapter one. Then if your chapter one has a subtitle, just as we did for in, in the introductory part, you just come over here, highlight it. Do you understand? When you highlight it, you come here and click on adding four because it was adding four we used. You click on adding four and that is it. So let's say, for example, in the course of the text now, after you have your, your uh, uh, editing, there is a need for you to highlight something else in the course of the text. Maybe there's another editing that is a sub of the initial sub title, you get? So you can just highlight that particular editing and make it another, um, that you can highlight it and make it another editing. Let's say editing five, do you understand? But in this case, we're only going to be using two headings because um, the book doesn't really have much um, highlight underneath. It. It's just a straight book. So we won't, we won't be having so much, we won't be using so much um, head that we're only going to use two headings. So for after you're done with that, you are going to apply it to um, every other part of the, um, of the book. Let me do that right now. I'll get back to you. Yes, yeah, so I haven't done all of that. Like I've actually applied the heading to every of the, chapters and their sub um, title. So one thing I want you to understand is that when you are trying to um, format your paperback, you have to have the fact that, oh, this is going to be a physical book. You have to have that at the back of your mind so that when you are creating the book, every chapter, because when you, if you see a book now, chapters usually start on the right page. Most times you won't see any chapter starting on the left. So you have to ensure that every new chapter that you are doing is starting on the right page and not on the left. For example, this one now is starting on the right page. Let's look for a one that is not starting on the left. Yes, for this one now, chapter three is starting on the left. So we have to bring it back to the right. And how do you do that? Remember I told you not to press enter to create the page. All you need to do is to click on this, this put your cursor here, then come over to this page that says insert and insert page break. And that is it. You have to automatically move that chapter to the next page. So you do that for every of your chapters that are not on the right, you move them to the right. So can you see every other one is on the right? And so we are good with that. Then moving on to the next thing, um, formatting, like when it comes to your spacing. If you want to know that, okay, you are using the right standard um, spacing in your book, you have to use this, um, this format um, um, key, this format sign. When you click on it, it will show you everywhere in the text that there could be like unnecessary space. So when it shows you from there, you can now look for a way to close those gaps if there are ways possible for you to do that. Do you understand? So when you look at this, but anywhere you see um, spaces that are too much, just ensure that you close it. And sometimes those spaces are needed in the book, some of the space, but when you have seen that a space is already becoming irrelevant too much, you can just like 
close it like something like this now. Let's can you see? So can you see now? We are already taking away those um, unwanted parts of the space. So that's how it is. When you look at and you find that okay, everything is okay. The spacings are not um, just unnecessarily too much. Then you can remove, can remove it, and the document will come back to the normal. So quickly, I don't want this video to be too long. Let's go to the next part. The next part is um, you can decide to put the name of the book on the header. And how do you do that? You come to insert. Once you click on insert, you come to this place that says header, and um, you um, edit your header. So when you click on edit header, it's going to give you option of whatever you want to put. So what I want to put is the title of the book, um, how to grow self-confidence. You understand? Um, you could put the name of the author if you like. So, but yeah, I'm just going to put. Um, so, how to grow self confidence? That's going to be the header. And then you just call me and close the header. Do you understand? So, every page of the book will have this title on it: How to Grow Self Confidence. Can you see that? Can you see that every page now has How to Grow Self confidence so that's how to add um your heading for your book if you want to put the author's name you can also do that so right now let's go to the page number quickly so the same thing you come here to insert and you so right now we're going to be adding page numbers we're going to come here click on page number um bottom of the page and you click on um so when you click on it, you can come over here to check and see that there is already number one, two, and so on and so forth. So that's how to like add numbers to your book. And so that's basically all you uh, uh, close the footer. So before I go, ensure that you actually look through your book and make sure that it's very, um, like grammatically is correct. All these parts where you're showing, Read, edit it, and make sure the book is actually good before you publish the book. Please don't forget, Amazon is key on quality now. So if you don't want your books to be rejected, ensure that you edit the books and make sure that you're using the right words. So before we, 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 we have to do the title, the table of content now. So we're going to come to this page for table of content. And um, so we're going to come to this page and then um, click on reference. When you click on reference, you see table of content. Click it down, it will show you. Um, different um, formats for your table of content. Um, so let's, we are going to customize. We want to customize a table of content. So custom, do you want the page number to show? If you want page number to show, you write page number to show. If you don't want page number to show, you can just remove this and where it says show page number. So it's not going to show you page number again. It's going to be like this. But if you want your page numbers to show where every chapter is, you can just click on this space. But for me, I don't want page numbers to show, so I'm just going to remove it for now. Then it's asking levels. Remember that heading I told you about? We used um, two headings, do you understand? Heading two and heading four. So meaning that we have only two levels. If we use more than two headings, then you will have said three. If you use four, you will have said four. So we used two um, um, levels. So you just write, you just put two. Once you do that, you click on OK. So can you see it now? It has actually brought out every of um it has brought out the it has brought out every content that is, is inside the book. That's it. You already have your your table of content ready for you. So don't forget table of content. Okay, so with that, we are going to we have come to the end of today's um, video. I hope you got value. If you have any questions, please do want to drop it in the comment section. Maybe I missed a part. You can just tell me in the comment section below. And if you also got value, please ensure to leave a comment for me. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, um, share with other people, and also do well to give this video a thumbs up.
I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.